What's up, people? The Internet Chucky here, bringing you a quick commentary about my opinion on gun laws and how I personally think it should be dealt with. Because I'm not a person who is able to own guns or a person that, like, has had any experience with guns. And I live in a state where I'm, I'm not 100% sure of this, but I know in my state, I live in Massachusetts, and gun laws are very strict here. Um, there actually is a firearm store in my hometown, though, and that's just a weird thing, even to me. It's a weird thing because it just opened recently in the last five years, ten years. It's pretty recent. I don't remember being there all the time, but it's just weird because considering that I live in a state with heavy gun laws and everything, it's in a really small town. But basically, what I really want to just say is, I obviously have never owned a gun. I've never shot a gun either, which is not obvious as much, but I never have. I probably won't for a while. I'm 16. I probably won't for at least a few years. Um, and when I turn 18, or not when I turn 18, but when I live in a place where it is able to, like, if I went at the point where I'm old enough and I have kids and I have a family... I'd like to be a gun owner myself. I'm not a person that just would love to be a gun owner to have the power in my house. Because, well, I see guns as both an offensive tool and as a defensive weapon. Like, they're both the same thing, and they can be used for good and bad, and I like to see them as both ways. But, personally, I don't feel like gun laws are strict enough in enough states, and I do support the idea of them verifying and doing better background checks and that kind of stuff for people that buy guns and really unless you have something to hide you really shouldn't be against this because it's not going to affect you it's just going to make it not as easy for the people that want to get them for bad things they can't just go down to the store take them and then just shoot somebody if they want i mean that's not really how it normally happens obviously mostly criminals don't do that but you gotta believe that at least some of them some people that have very bad mental issues problems that are live in these states where it's really easy for them to get this they they really just like that they can get it so easily and they abuse it um for the people that want guns for let's just say you really want it as a hobby and you want to own these guns and their guns are not cheap maybe some guns like not like special guns but they're not cheap and if you're willing to make this investment in like a gun or a bunch of guns and it's like a thing of yours to you like to own a lot of guns Think about it, if it's that much of an investment, what is waiting a little more time so they can do these background checks on you? Literally, it's not going to hurt you in any way. Maybe you have to be more patient. Maybe you should be more, like, patient and deal with it because it's not like you need to use it that second. It's not like you need to go and shoot somebody or you need to go and shoot it. I mean, there's other things that I personally, I've, I wanted to get and I just had to wait on them. And to me... It's, it's no different for if you want to own a gun. It's You want it as like a toy, as like an object, like you want to go shoot at the range, whatever you want to do with it. Waiting an extra couple weeks or I don't know how long these background checks take. They don't take six months. They're not like a half year project that you have to wait for. They might be a week or two. And you know what? If you can't wait a week or two to get your gun, you really don't need that gun. You really just shouldn't have it if you can't wait that long for it. Because if you want it for recreational purposes... There's been times where, like, let's just say, like, this happens to a lot of people. You want to get, like, a special baseball bat. You like to play baseball. You love to use special bats. You don't like to use equipment that you can go get at, like, Dick's or your local sporting goods place or whatever. You have to order it online. You have to wait a couple weeks for it to come because it's, like, a special made bat or whatever. And you really put a lot of money into it. You can wait for it. You do wait for it because you have to. Why is it any different? I mean, honestly, like, it's not going to hurt you if you have nothing to hide. In my opinion, I don't see why there's a problem with it. And personally, like, when I get old enough and when I see a need to have it to defend myself, if I have other people in the house living with me, etc., I'd want to own a gun. And I don't see a problem with background checks, anything like that. As long as it's not going to hurt anybody, like, that, like, that's innocent. If you're innocent, you have nothing to hide, it's not going to hurt you. It's to prevent the people... That do have something to hide from being able to get the easy access. They might get it by other means, but it makes it more difficult for them. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. And P.S. This was 61 and 1. I never mentioned the score. I feel stupid. Bye-bye.